Alright guys, today we will have the review of the CCM Caterpillar 390D LME. Um, ME stands for Mass Excavator for those that didn't know it, but a lot of you do. Um, this model was made in 2012, I believe, or was released in 2012 to go along with the 385. Um, this, it retails for about $300 to $400 if I'm not mistaken. Um, Still though, it's really great to have it with the 385 itself. It's a, they're both great models. So, to dive into the review, we're gonna start out at the big end, and here you can see the massive bucket. Really, the bucket um is about the big, as big as the palm of my hand. Um, it's a five tooth bucket. The cylinders on this model are quite stiff, so, and they're so detailed it looks like it even has little pins, right there. So, really cool, and on the back of the bucket you got what your wear plating. Same for here, this looks like it's a heavy, a heavy duty bucket. And here's an indentation where the cat logo would go, and more wear plating right there. Now then, functionality of the bucket is pretty limited, I'd say. It can go back that far, which is really good, but originally, it would only come in about that far. Which is a big problem. Um, now I modified mine and I sanded down the or filed down the uh, tab, which uh, which kind of held the bucket from going in further. So now mine can go in that far, which is really good. I'd say um, it, that's as far as it will go. It's got more play in it, so for sure. Um, then moving the stick down, you have hydraulic lines. Now this one was loose when it in the box so I had to glue it back into place um, black hydraulic lines plastic and these are the hard hydraulic lines up top are actually brass so that's really cool that they did that here you have little plastic work lights and your cat powerage logo uh, moving on to the cab actually this is as far as it buckets this goes out and this is as far as the I mean the stick goes out and there's as far as it comes in and there's what it would look like in I guess transport position but I don't think you'd put something like this on a low boy and there's as far as it will dig down um, move the camera out so you can see it quite good for what it is and I'll show you the bucket move all the way up which isn't high because I mean mass excavator has a shorter stick um, and boom, but a bigger bucket for so it can hold more. But there's as far as it will go up, which is actually good for what it is. Moving on to the cab, it is an all black piece, which is very nice. And one neat feature is the door opens and it reveals a very detailed interior. Um, the inside is black. Unfortunately, they didn't put the cat logo on the seat inside, but still, nonetheless, the seat is two different colors. And all the controls are painted, and even the, there's a small control console right over in here, right over there. Uh, you can see it. Um, it's silver, and it actually has um, gauges on it, which is really cool. Over on this side, you got two yellow headlights, which is attached to the plastic cab guard at the top. Not the biggest fan of the cab guard, but still. Also on the door, I wish it would went back fat further, but at least you can't see the hinges. Um, here's two steps up to up top and these are actually plastic this one was loose in the box so um, here's the grill it looks etched through but it is not if you turn to this side oh, it's kind of hard to see but it but actually where it's black you can actually see yellow indents in it or yellow where the paint black paint didn't get to which is really cool that they added that here you have a walkway which is not etched through but has some texture to it and a step up. Now the tracks, they are perfect on this model. They are obviously metal. And as you can see, they even roll on this. And it, sometimes they get caught up. Um, that's because some of the tracks get stuck together, which is a weird saying, but yeah. Um, the sprocket and idler are plastic, but I don't really mind that. Um, also... Um, the rollers actually do work on this model, which is very cool. Going around to the counterweight, 
if I can get this stick to fold in. Again, stiff hydraulics. There you can see the bolt detail on there and the big cat on the back. This is also a good time to point out that the um, that the exhaust actually is well hollow on the inside or gives the appearance to be hollow. And on this side, which is which is a really cool side because they actually have engine compartments. There's your air filter, and you can actually see inside the engine. And I know it's going to be hard to see, but there is actually a fan back there. Um, very cool. And this compartment up here opens up. I just might as well show you up top. And this here is actually X3, which is really cool. Here you have all the hydraulic lines moving to the hydraulic motor, which is actually modeled right there. And these walkways, they're not, they don't have an uh, anti slip texture, but they still are there. And here's a bunch of um, storage tubes. And there's where your gas would go in. I'm, I'm, ex I'm guessing. Now, back to this side. Um, this here is plastic. This panel right here is plastic and it's flimsy, so be very careful with it. But it's still the paint match is perfect. Um, now this ladder is plastic. It doesn't have any anti-slip detailing, but these handrails along the side are metal. Um, this mirror is a very hard plastic, so be very careful with it because um, it can break pretty easily. Going up front, you have your swing motors here, or your swing motor here, and all your hydraulic lines. And it's really nice that these yellow brackets are painted, or the yellow, um, yeah, brackets for the hydraulic lines are painted, which is really cool within itself. And underneath, as the detailing, if you're wondering what this is, um, I don't know. Uh, that was on my model when I got it. Kind of strange, but oh well. Um, it has really good detailing, bolt detailing, and you can see mine is number 987. And you have classic construction models right there. Um, the tracks are actually riveted together, which is really cool, which means that there is a low possibility that they'll break. You have to really be abusive to this model for it to break, so it's really a hard for it to break. Now, to, a, to do a little comparison with the 385, which is right here, and I'll lift the camera up. Um, you can see the definitely the stick and bucket are different. I like the bigger bucket, but still the, the 385 is my favorite out of both of them. Um, this one has the different cab on it, which is just repainted, and the counterweights are different. This one's filled in. You get out of the way, and that one is not. Otherwise, they are the same. Um, and. Yeah, I'll be doing a review of the 385 when you guys vote to see it up. Which, it's basically the same thing, so. But still, they're very nice, and. Yeah. So, my final thoughts and opinions on it. Better move this out of the way. My final thoughts and opinions on it are. This is an excellent model from CCM. There is a couple downfalls, like the bucket movement, but it's very easily fixable. It only took me five minutes to fix it. All you need is a little file and just file it down, file the tab down on the bucket, the bucket stopper or the movement stopper. It's real simple. Um, really, CCM did a phenomenal job. The tracks are perfect. The model is perfect. There's just a lot of great detail on it. And all in all, it's it's a fantastic model. And if you do have the opportunity to get one of these. Don't even hesitate on it, to be honest. I know a lot of you would not hesitate to get this model. Um, same for the 385. Do not hesitate. And so, with that, CCM deserves a 10 out of 10, which is outstanding. So, they did a great job. And, again, don't even hesitate to get this model. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And, have a nice day.